very old Barton and one of the reasons I got this because uh, Chris from the Midlife Ride that's one of his favorite whiskeys Hey guys, I am heading back down to Wilmington, North Carolina and uh, taking care of more business for my brother's estate. And on the way, maybe I'll stop in and uh, check out if there's any new bourbons at this little liquor store I've stopped in before. Check that place out. So on the way, it's uh, overcast and a little rainy, uh, but we got business to do, so we're just gonna get her done. Hey okay, guys, so I uh, stopped here just outside of Wilmington at this little ABC store that I found the Eliza Craig private barrel. We're gonna go back in and see what they have. Great little store. All it says is ABC Liquor Store. Let's go in and see what they got. found a couple things in here the first thing is it's been actually hard to find this bottle hang on I'm, I'm, I don't mean to make you sick it's been hard to find this bottle but very old Barton and one of the reasons I got this because uh, Chris from the midlife ride that's one of his favorite whiskeys and now it's like i used to see it in the liquor stores a couple years ago but now it's kind of allocated so you don't get it all the time um but this is this bottle is was only 15 dollars and very old barton is actually very good it's very sweet so if you want to i'll do a i'll do a 
video just on very old bark but i'm gonna tell you it's actually very good whiskey for the price so we'll try that on the video but i've, I've tried it before my son had it at his wedding it was excellent so and he had a big old bottle of it and then also i picked up can you believe this smoke wagon so i found a bottle of smoke wagon and that's distilled in las vegas and I, one of the things i want to do when i go back out here pretty soon to vegas is to go to the distillery if i can do that that'll be fun so smoke wagon this bottle was only 31 dollars i've heard it's very good i've never tried it I'll do a video on that and then I'll do a video on the very old Barton we'll check those out and uh, got taking care of some business today for my uh, for my brother's estate and I'm gonna stop down the road somewhere and get something to eat I've got a cool place in mind so just stay tuned Thank you. hey guys so I found what some people say is the best barbecue place in North Carolina. It's called Joe's Barbecue. So we're heading down here in Whiteville, North Carolina. And that's correct. You say it Whiteville. You don't say Whiteville. It's Whiteville, North Carolina. And uh, I can say that because I used to live in Raleigh. And uh, so we're heading down here. Many people say that Joe's Barbecue is the best. So we're going to check Joe's Barbecue out right here in Whiteville, North Carolina. And look at these swamps. too far from Myrtle Beach maybe 45 50 minutes something like that maybe an hour uh, but I, like I said I've heard it's the best barbecue in North Carolina and North Carolina barbecue is a little different from other places it's got that vinegar base a lot of people don't like it Tina's not a big fan I like it and uh but we're gonna go in here and check it out in just a minute Okay, the, the location of this place, Joe's Old Fashioned Barbecue. It's behind the, the Lowe's right here. Come down that road and go behind the Lowe's and right here is Joe's Old Fashioned Barbecue. We're gonna check this out, it looks good. Any kind, anytime there's like some nice healthy looking pigs on the sign, that means it's usually pretty good. which is chopped barbecue and I've got uh, Brunswick stew and of course that'll have slaw and hush puppies so I can't wait this will be awesome I love it when they bring this kind of ice the crushed ice that's or I don't know little cubes it's good ice I love it all right I'm gonna try out this Brunswick stew 
Very good. Top pork. That is so good. And I'm going to heat it up with a little Texas peak. Oh, yeah. That is good. I was just trying this slaw. This slaw is great. Mm. Let's try the hush puppies. Oh, man. Mm. 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 This is a treat. Okay, guys. Joe's was very good. I enjoyed that. Uh, I ate every drop of the Brunswick stew. I ate every morsel of the chopped pork. The slaw was great. Hush puppies were great. I really enjoyed this. North Carolina style barbecue is not for everybody. A lot of people don't like that vinegar based taste, but I like it. And this was one of the best. I will have to say it's one of the best North Carolina style barbecues what well, they call it Lexington style uh, that I've had so it may be the best one of the best barbecue places in North Carolina if not the best so anyway enjoyed this and uh, we will talk to y'all soon thanks for watching uh, go ahead hit that like and subscribe button and then you might want to ring that bell for notifications and then you know what always keep it squatchy. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me around. It wakes me up. It shoots me down. At this point, I would rather be numb. I'm sick and tired of emotions. say this the uh while the brunswick stew here here at joe's was good and i ate every drop it was good uh it's still not the best the best is crescent city barbecue in roanoke virginia downtown roanoke and that's where i had brunswick stew and we had some sliders and uh, that's where I tried Elmer T. Lee for the first time and that was that was really great so anyway uh, we'll be back with you without her